Welcome to Nursing Prep Push Yourself in Nursing Preparation with Smart Way. The topic is Health Promotion and Maintenance. After educating a 19-year-old client about possible adverse effects of her oral contraception, which of the client's concerns shows a lack of understanding? Option A. Headaches. Option B. Weight gain. Option C. Nausea. Option D. Ovarian cancer. Right answer is. Option D. Ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is not an adverse effect of taking oral contraceptives. Some studies have shown a reduction in ovarian and endometrial cancers when using birth control pills. Some side effects of oral contraceptives are weight gain, breast tenderness, nausea, headaches, breakthrough bleeding, and thrombophlebitis. When teaching a client who is planning to get pregnant about the need to increase folic acid, which food can the nurse suggest? Option A. Yogurt. Option B. Chicken. Option C. Apples. Option D. Spinach. Right answer is. Option D. Spinach. Green and leafy vegetables are excellent sources of folic acid. Examples are spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, avocados, and asparagus. Other foods include lentils, beans, and nuts. Neural tube defects can occur as early as during the first month of pregnancy, so adequate folic acid intake prior to becoming pregnant is important. Studies show that folic acid before and in the early phase of pregnancy can prevent 70% of neural tube defects. The healthcare provider is teaching a patient with emphysema pursed lip breathing. Pursed lip breathing helps patients with emphysema because it Option A. Helps the patient achieve maximum inhalation. Option B. Helps keep the small airways open and prevents air trapping. Option C. Creates negative pressure in the airways. Option D. Increases the respiratory rate and oxygenation. Right answer is. Option B. Helps keep the small airways open and prevents air trapping. Patients with emphysema have less elastic recoil in their lungs. Airways can collapse during expiration. Air gets trapped, and exhalation is difficult. Cleveland Clinic suggests the following method to teach PLB. 1. Relax neck and shoulder muscles. 2. Inhale slowly through the nose for two counts, keeping the mouth closed. 3. Don't take a deep breath, a normal breath will do. It may help to count silently. Inhale, 1, 2. A patient reports smoking 10 cigarettes per day for 40 years. How will the healthcare provider document this patient's smoking habit in terms of pack years? Option A. 20 pack years. Option B. 5 pack years. Option C. 10 pack years. Option D. 4 pack years. Right answer is. Option A. 20 pack years. A pack contains 20 cigarettes. Calculate pack years by multiplying the number of packs of cigarettes smoked per day by the number of years the person has smoked. For example, one pack year is equal to smoking 20 cigarettes, one pack, per day for one year. During a routine prenatal visit by a woman at 24 weeks gestation, the healthcare provider notes the woman's pre-pregnancy hematocrit was 42%, 0.420, but today the hematocrit is 34%, 0.340. Which of the following provides the best explanation of the change in hematocrit for this client? Option A. Because she has been experiencing pregnancy-related nausea. The woman's diet has been poor. Option B. During pregnancy the increase in plasma volume exceeds the increase in erythrocyte production. Option C. Because of pregnancy-related immune suppression, the woman is not making enough erythrocytes. Option D. The woman is anemic because more of her blood is being diverted to the placenta and fetus. Right answer is. Option B. 
During pregnancy the increase in plasma volume exceeds the increase in erythrocyte production. A drop in hematocrit during the third trimester is normal. To meet the metabolic demands the enlarged uterus, placenta, and growing fetus, both plasma volume and red blood cell production increase. Hemodilution occurs because plasma volume exceeds erythrocyte production, resulting in physiologic anemia of pregnancy. A patient has been diagnosed with primary syphilis, stage I. When assessing the patient, which of these findings will the healthcare provider anticipate? Option A. Muscle weakness and visual changes. Option B. Firm and painless genital ulcer. Option C. Sore throat and swollen lymph glands. Option D. Reddish rash on the palms of the hands. Right answer is. Option B. Firm and painless genital ulcer. Although there may be multiple sores, the first indication someone is in the primary stage of syphilis is the appearance of a single chancre, which is a round, firm, and painless sore found at the location where syphilis entered the body. Syphilis is caused by the bacteria Treponema pallidum, and typically follows a progression of stages, including a latent stage, that can last for weeks, months, or years. Syphilis is easily cured with antibiotics. A woman in her second trimester of pregnancy is diagnosed with preeclampsia. Which of the following statements about preeclampsia will guide the care provided to this patient? Option A. If untreated, preeclampsia may result in fetal growth restriction. Option B. Preeclampsia is the most common cause of delivery after 40 weeks gestation. Option C. The most serious problem with preeclampsia is edema, which is treated with diuretics. Option D. The patient should not be concerned because the disorder will not affect the fetus. Right answer is. Option A. If untreated, preeclampsia may result in fetal growth restriction. Preeclampsia is a multi-system, vasospastic disease. A vasospastic disorder results in intermittent or impaired arterial circulation in the body. Vasospasm in the placenta causes impaired placental perfusion. Impaired perfusion results in decreased delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the fetus by the placenta, restricting fetal growth. While planning a prenatal nutrition class for primary gravid clients, the nurse knows to include the need for adequate vitamin A. Which foods should the clients choose for their diets? Option A. Skim milk and cheese. Option B. Berries and broccoli. Option C. Egg yolks and squash. Option D. Oranges and tomatoes. Right answer is. Option C. Egg yolks and squash. Egg yolks, squash. And yellow or orange vegetables such as sweet potatoes and carrots are good sources of vitamin A. Other excellent sources are fish oil, liver, whole milk, dark leafy greens, and dried apricots. However, pregnant clients should avoid excess of vitamin A, because it can cause malformations in the fetus. Which common pregnancy condition can occur during the third trimester? Option A. Respiratory acidosis. Option B. Acne vulgaris. Option C. Unilateral mastitis. Option D. Physiologic anemia. Right answer is. Option D. Physiologic anemia. Hemoglobin and hematocrit levels decrease during pregnancy, even though RBC production increases by 20%. Plasma volume also increases, causing a dilution of RBCs. A hemoglobin level of pregnancy can naturally drop to 10.5 grams slash and be considered normal. An 18-year-old male asks about using condoms to keep his girlfriend from becoming pregnant. What is the nurse's best response? Option A. Be sure and get natural skin condoms. They prevent sexually transmitted infections. Option B. You should know that the failure rate for condoms is about 25%. Option C. If you use a spermicide with a condom, you'll get more protection. Option D. 
Condoms will commonly increase sensitivity of the penis. Right answer is Option C. If you use a spermicide with a condom, you'll get more protection. The failure rate for condoms is 12 to 14 percent. Adding a spermicide can further reduce the rate. Avoid natural skin condoms because they allow viruses to pass through. Latex condoms should be used. A common complaint of condom users is decreased penile sensitivity. Thanks for watching. If you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.